This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, the honest of venerable apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, it's so Brother Haran coming back at you with a quick uh, impromptu slash breaking news. All right, and uh, today I believe is the 26th of February 2024. Okay, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Okay, now, um, I just saw this article here, and I don't know, you know, what, what, what the details may, may entail. I haven't read the article yet, but we're going to, we're going to go through this, um, real quick. All right. Uh, and the title goes is beautiful news. If, it, if this is actually, uh, real, uh, it says, uh, Lord Jacob Rothschild financier dies age 87. Okay. The British PM or uh, British peer started his career in the family bank. Uh, NM or I guess NM Rothschild and Sons, um, in, in 1963. Okay, it says, um, financier and member of the Rothschild banking family, Lord Jacob Rothschild, has died at the age of 87. His family has announced the British peer started his career in the family bank, NM Rothschild and Sons, in 1963 before going to co-found the then J. Rothschild Assurance Group, now St. James's Place, with Sir Mark Weinberg in 1980. Now, their, their family wealth, the Rothschilds and so on and so forth, they have been, you know, um, power players in the world for years. Uh, you want to really go technical, it's been centuries. Okay, they just go by different names, but the, the latest iteration of the power family Okay, that the Lord has beef against, all right, quote unquote beef against is, you know, today known as the Rothschild. Okay, when you go into that word Rothschild or Rothschild, it means red shield. Okay, it's a German word, I believe, which means red shield. Okay, it's also a play on words um, of wrath. I mean, somebody being wroth with something, I mean, angry, okay, an angry child. Okay, so the red angry child, red shield or wrath wrath child right the angry red child um and of course they he uses the name jacob which we know he's esau it should be lord esau Rothschild, but you know let's read it says the british peer started okay we read that already he also founded windmill hill asset ma management to manage the family's philanthropic portfolio right now philanthropy is just a, a smokescreen for evil Right, Bill Gates is somebody who is known for so-called quote-unquote great philanthropic work. All right, but when you look at it, it's all based on wickedness. All right, straight savagery. You know, the guy sets um, companies up. You know, go to Africa and test Vanessa's on, on 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 people's children. You know, killing thousands, if not if not millions. Okay, all in the name of so-called improving life and health and so on and so forth but meanwhile he's just doing a whole bunch of wickedness and depopulation okay but at least the world is waking up to that you know that 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 wicked agenda all right because i saw this on uh twitter and um oh i should say x formerly known as twitter right stupid and um you know a lot of people in the comments are basically saying yo a hey, good riddance you know um goodbye devil goodbye satan all kinds of shit man you know well, what do they know about about this guy? If it weren't for the prophets, what would they know about this guy? Right? It says during his career, he also held roles such as deputy chair chairman at the then uh, B Sky B Television, and was also chairman of trustees at the National Gallery. Okay, so these are two powerful um, positions to hold in society. All right, when you go into the concept of public opinion, right? Being being um, able to uh, you know, control the way people think and how they view reality. Okay. It's a very important tool. And that's why they emphasize the ownership of, it's like it, emphasize the ownership of bank, uh, banks. 
um, the money system, monetary system, and also uh, the flow of information via via the control of the media. Okay, and this is an, another omen, I believe, through the spirit. All right, of the Lord. All right, letting the world know that He's about to take these people up out of here. Again, like I said, if this is indeed true, because you had was it last two years ago, uh, twenty twenty two is when um, Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, so called, passed away. And then shortly after that, you had Evelyn Rothschild also pass away. Okay. Now, I have my own personal theory that, you know, these devils are actually not dead. They're actually, you know, just being sent down to their underground bunker or some shit. And they're saying goodbye to the world by pushing that. Oh, they're dead. You know, that kind of thing. Well, when the Lord gets back, <laughs> they're going to have to rise up out of the grave, wherever the fuck they may be at. You know, you got to answer to the man himself. He's back. Okay, like um, the music, uh, the song by uh, Johnny Cash, when the man comes around, all right? You could run on for a long time, but sooner or later, what? He's going to cut you down, right? All right. It says, and that's what we just read in um, Isaiah 14, okay? It says, in a statement to the PA News Agency, the family said, quote, our father Jacob, <laughs> you devils, bro. <laughs> Your father is not Jacob, okay? Your father is Esau, all right. It says our father Jacob was a towering presence in many people's lives, a super, superbly uh, accomplished financier, a champion of the arts and culture. <sighs> just reading that. Just <laughs> it says a devoted public servant. Wow, a passionate supporter of charitable causes in Israel and Jewish culture. What about the rest of the world? And going to show you, you see, when we say we're all for our people, that's a problem. But he, clearly, this guy is all about so-called his people, all right? The Edomites that, that occupy the land of the Israelites at the moment, at least until Yahushua gets back and completely annihilates them, okay? Because guess what? One more, another way to prove that the land that they're in is not even their land, look how they treat the land, you know? Look how they treat the land. If it's your land, are you really going to treat it the way they do? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. So continuing says, a keen environmentalist and much loved friend, father and grandfather. He will be buried in accordance with Jewish custom in a small family ceremony. And there will be a memorial. It says a uh, custom in a small family family ceremony and there will be a memorial at a later date to celebrate his life okay well we ain't we ain't, ain't nobody trying to celebrate this devil just like when kissinger died you should have seen the comments okay people are cooking his shit all right the same thing for this nigga he's gonna get cooked and wherever he's gonna be at bro guess what you're gonna wait until the house shot gets back and then the games will begin okay um see if i can get another quick precept here this is beautiful news, man. Beautiful, beautiful news. All right, like I said, if this is real, this is this is beautiful news. Okay. Uh, it's a book of Obadiah, verse three. It says, "The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground?" Well, the Lord did. Okay. Yahweh Shai is going to bring you down to the ground. All right, He's going to cut you down. Okay. And this family, all right, headed by this guy who's apparently just passed away, okay, this is a beautiful thing because, again, this is an omen of the Lord coming against the wicked, okay? If, if, if a guy as important as so-called Lord, I mean, the name, the nigga's name is Lord Jacob Rothschild, all right? A Lord is somebody who oversees things, right? A power who oversees things. So if he's being cut down, what does that say about the rest of his family and their plans? Right? The rest of his stupid family, <laughs> you know, and their plans. Right? So, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing um, on a Monday, February 20, was it 26? Okay, the numbers always matter, but hey, it's definitely a beautiful thing. All right. Let's see if I can get one more quick precept. Now, you know, I just woke up and I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? You know, scrolling, scrolling through, trying to find an article or something to, to bring out, you know, and then. Boom. Voila. <laughs> you know, beautiful, beautiful things. Beautiful things. Uh, let's see.
There's a book of Psalm. Psalm chapter um, 92 and verse 7, it says, When the wicked spring as a grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. That's right. Okay. So they think that their plans are going to flourish forever. Again, in uh, the book of Job, it tells you all right, that the Lord said he's going to what? He's going to, let me get that real quick. Let's see if we can find it. I don't want to butcher it. Um, right. It's the book of Job chapter 5 and verse 12. It says, <clears throat> he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay, so this devil, if he's truly dead, he's not going to get to live to see his so-called enterprise come to fruition. All right. The concept of the so-called New World Order, all right, which he's he's very much he's very much for. All right. And part of the creation of that. All right. Um, people like Klaus Schwab or in the World Economic Forum, they they push the agenda of the Rothschilds. OK, because without without the permission of the Rothschilds, Klaus Schwab is, is he's not going to do anything. OK, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The top family all right, of the wicked are known as the Rothschilds today. All right. At least in the mainstream, of course. All right. Um, it says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Verse 13, Job 5, 13. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. OK, so. Esau, Edom, you're done. All right. This is a, a huge omen. All right. The second month, so-called month of the year. All right. Again, this is all, you know, yeah, biblical prophecy. Okay. The Lord is literally, all right, bringing down the, 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 the haughtiness, all right, of these devils, man, the top of the top. Okay. So there's another omen, like I said, of these devils being taken out. All right. For Jacob, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay. You notice all of these Edomites are all old. All right. That's a that's a sign. And then we, the Israelites, were all young men. OK, so you have old lions and then you got young lions coming in. What happens? I'm like, them, them young lions will, will do some damage to them old lions if 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 if, if um, the strategy works out, which in this case, we have the ultimate young lion. How should I come down? OK, with the angels, the thousands of heaven. <laughs> so it's game over all right it's game over but hey beautiful news beautiful news all right lord jacob rothschild is up out of here okay at 87 years old all right this dude is is up out of here all right so we'll see you know what happens you know things like this tend to shift the tectonic plates you know in terms of um geopolitics and so on and so forth but you know we'll see we'll see how things you know go all right, in this week, in the next couple of weeks into the, mar the month of March and April, you know, so, hey, we'll see. I just wanted to bring this out real quick. Uh, just a quick update, breaking news. Lord Jacob Rothschild is up out of here at the age of 87. Barakatay Haba Shemi Shai for that. The Wadi Haba Shemi Shai. And um, Lord willing, you're edified. Until next time, Shalom.